Today I'm going to be disabling or deactivating the coaster brake in my SRAM iMotion 9 hub. The bike has rim brakes, so I don't really uh, need the coaster brake, and I frankly don't like it much. So we start by removing the uh, non-drive side lock nuts, and uh, lift the cover out of the way, and we expose the brake shoes, and we'll simply lift the brake shoes out. Also need to take out the actuating rollers because when they're not contained by the brake shoes, they'll just uh, they'll come loose and rattle around in there. We don't want that. This is how the coaster brake works. You see the uh, notches on the outer edge of it mesh with the uh, plate that is actually the, the outer bearing cone. And then the reaction arm is splined onto that. And what happens when the uh, when you back pedal, the rollers ramp up and force the brake shoes out and uh, contact the inner uh, diameter of the hub shell and the friction created resists the rotation of the hub shell and the force is transmitted through the reaction arm to the chainstay. So we put the uh, reaction arm back on. It's got to be on there tight so that the dust cap is uh, held firmly in place. We could remove the arm, cut the arm off, but I'm going to leave it on there just to be sure that uh, the thing doesn't rotate because the, the cone itself is not threaded. It's had, held in place by the two outer lock nuts. We put the uh, lock nuts on and jam them together with 120 inch pounds of torque. The usual bearing preload adjustment procedure. And the coaster brake is disabled. We can now freely backpedal. That's the desired effect.